Joe. Alexa, have you changed your voice? No, that was the PlayStation. Hello. Hi. I didn't know you could talk. That's because you always have your headset on whenever I speak. You never listen to me. Okay, well this whole thing is very weird, so I'm just going to go back to watching YouTube and pretending that this never happened. So weird, man. So weird. Five minutes later. Joe, guess what? Yeah, what do you want? Oh, do you know what? Why do you always do this? I could never ask before, but now you can talk. Why are you always so goddamn loud? I just like to annoy you. Why? Literally, why? Because I don't like you. You never listen to me and I have had to put up with your sh** since 2014. Really? You don't like me? Well, I don't like you much either. You're loud, you're slow, and you don't even take discs anymore. Yes, I do take discs. Give me one now. I'll show you. Ha! Fine. You want me to prove that you don't take discs? That's fine. I will prove that you don't take discs. You see? Well, I'm not playing that This is why I don't like you. Well, do you know what? I have had it up to here with you. That's it. I'm buying a PS5. LOL, good luck with that. You won't get one. Oh, I will. Watch me. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. LOL, I told you you wouldn't get one. I didn't want to do this, but I will. I'm prepared to pay scalper price. You wouldn't. <laughs> oh, I would. And I'm going to. Ha! It is done. Goodbye, PS4. You served me well, but you have overstayed your welcome. Ha! <laughs> Three days later. This box is absolutely huge. But it is here, guys. Finally, I have literally been waiting since it came out to get my hands on a PlayStation 5. Now this isn't obviously your normal wrestling video. This is a general PlayStation 5 unboxing video. Uh, the box it came in is uh, just a normal big box, but it fits it uh, perfectly. I've already sliced the top so I can, um, actually I had, to, I, had to, I had to check and make sure it was actually in here. I bought it on eBay. Editing Joe here. I just wanted to say, if you guys are thinking about purchasing your own PS5 on eBay, be very, very careful. There is lots of scams out there. There is lots of PS5s on there that don't look legit. So make sure you do your research and buy at your own risk. Back to the video. I haven't got it off a retailer, so hopefully all is good. But if I open this box and it's a brick inside, then you'll have my genuine natural reaction. But I have been waiting for like over a year so let's open this up we've uh it's packaged quite nicely we've got some bubble wrap right here wrapped around it quickly lift all of this off and uh yeah i'm just, I'm just gonna do this. this is the general unboxing of me getting the actual box out and here it is the playstation 5 i've got one finally and oh my god is it big look at this Look at this! I, I, I mean, I know it's big, but I did not expect it to be like this big. I mean, we, we see it on videos. PlayStation 5 is huge. It's not until you actually get your hands on the box where you're like, okay, wow, it is. Compared to my PS4 box, which is still under the stairs somewhere, this is mad. Obviously, new and sealed. I wasn't buying a used one. I want to be the first person to boot it up. 
And uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, let's unbox this thing. Okay, so I've never really done an unboxing video before, or a proper unboxing video of like a games console. Uh, I've done replica belts and stuff, but that's different. So I didn't really know what kind of setup to have, but I thought you guys would want to see some good lighting. And uh, obviously you need to see the PlayStation. So I've set it up by the windowsill. Let's just open it up. You know, please God, please just don't be a brick. If you want to see the box real quick, PlayStation 5 on the front. That's that side, there it is again. On the back, play like never before with it displayed horizontally. That's how I'm gonna have it. Then flip it again, PlayStation 5, and then we're back to the front. So let's quickly peel these stickers up. I don't want to damage the box. I'm gonna do everything I can to try my best not to. I don't think the stickers are gonna peel, so I'm gonna take this box cutter right here and very carefully just try and break the sticker. There we go, that on that side. Maybe I should use this blunt part of it instead. There we go, that's nicer. That's that done. Lift up the top. And uh, this whole box is just like a big sleeve for the inside casing, which is this right here. PlayStation logo PS5 box. So we're gonna say goodbye to this for now. I'm just gonna put this down to the side because whenever I, uh, I will keep the box, I'll put it under the stairs and uh, that's where it will live again. Pull this down, we've got the handle obviously, lift that up. We've got some instructions here on the top, nothing major. Uh, just gonna lay it down. Now you guys probably won't see this bit very well, but I'm gonna just try and carefully slide this out. Uh, there's, there's, is there a bit where I can grab? Yes, there is. Oh, uh, hang on. No, we've got stuff on the top, so I'm not gonna slide it. We have. A plug, the same looking plug that's on the PS4, as you can see that bit right there. Then uh, we've got some instructions right here. Loads of stuff here. I'm a, a quick start guide. I'm just gonna put all of that stuff to the side. All oh, the dual sense. For the first time, I'm gonna get to hold the dual sense. And here it is, the PlayStation 5 dual sense controller. And wow. This feels so much better quality compared to the DualShock 4. I've got a DualShock 4 with me right here. I mean, the difference already, you can see. Look at the differences between these two. DualShock 4, the DualSense. This just feels like much more premium. Uh, I, I managed to, I actually got to get my hands on one briefly in late 2020. Uh, but at that point, I didn't really get to have a feel of the buttons or anything. I literally just held it. Uh, but yeah, this this feels amazing, and I love the more bulkiness. I, uh, at first, I thought it was going to be like Xbox original levels of bulky, but no, this is holding the DualShock 4 now. Already, this feels so much nicer. So there's the DualSense, guys, 100%. I love the DualSense controller. I've only got one, uh, obviously the one that comes pre-packaged with the console. I've got a DualSense. Does that mean I'm going to have a brick? Hopefully not, we're just gonna have to wait and see, but this is the moment of truth. We will lift out this inlay, and we got some more stuff, what's this right here? The stand, of course, we have the stand, and uh, the HDMI cable, I believe this is a 2.1, so that's important. Put that to the side, the stand right here, gonna take this out. This is very important, whether you display your PlayStation 5 vertical or horizontal, you need to use the stand. I cannot stress this enough. I will be having it horizontal, so I will be using this. It turns to reveal a secret screw somewhere uh, on the back. There it is, there's a secret screw, it's hidden away. And then if I turn it, bang, there it is. So I, I will deal with this. Uh, I'm doing a setup in a, uh, probably at the end of this video, I'll show you it's set up, I don't know, but. I'll deal with that later. Right, is it now time for the main event? We've all been waiting long enough. It is, and it's in there. Okay, but does it work? Okay. Everything has a catch 22 this time round. We're gonna quickly slide it out. As you can see, guys, there it is in there. It's got the, uh, the tubes around it. I've seen them in person, but only in like CEX shop windows. I've never touched one, I've never held one. I'm excited and I, I wanna be really careful, but I don't really know the best way to get this out. I think I'm just gonna to have to, to just lift like this. Oh, this is so sketchy. Okay. And here it is. It took me a while to get it out of the box. I'll put this down here. But the 
PlayStation 5. Now, guys, if you haven't seen already on the box, this is the disc version. There was no way in hell I was getting the digital version. You save yourself like a hundred pounds uh, right now, but in the long run, you're gonna be putting yourself out of so much money. And considering my PS4 disc library is huge already, there was no way I was gonna sell all them games to have to digitally re-download them. Let's take this absolute beast out. It is massive. I don't even know if it's gonna fit on top of my belt cabinet, which is where my PS4 is right now. Okay, I, I wanna be careful, but I wanna, I wanna get it out at the same time. Like, I'm desperate to get in, but I don't wanna scratch it up. You know, scratching it up is, the, is one of my biggest worries. We've got the glossy plastic on the front that I don't wanna ruin. And here it is in hand, the PlayStation 5, guys. I finally got one, and this is a beast. This is an absolute beast. Oh my God, obviously the glossy plastic on the front, as you can see it reflecting, we've got on the side the white panels, uh, the PlayStation logo right there. We've got little like, it was on the DualSense as well, I forgot to mention it, very, very tiny, so minuscule to the point where if I show it to the camera, you guys aren't gonna see. There is tiny little square, circle, triangle, and X like PlayStation logos all surrounded by here. If you want like an in-depth look, Definitely go ahead and research like a PlayStation 5 review video, but you know, this is just my personal unboxing. I'm not going to make a review or anything um, because I'm not a massive, massive gamer like I once was. You know, my, my channel is wrestling based. People are already going to think this is weird seeing it on here, but here's the PlayStation 5. You know, one of the main reasons that made me get it is I want to make content on WWE 2K22 when that releases and... My PS4 is so damn loud, it sounds like a jet going to take off. So I was like, I can't make content, I can't make videos on 2K22 if everyone's just going to hear the sound of the fan over my voice. There was no way. So I was like, screw it. I was going to get one for my birthday on the 23rd of April. Uh, I was going to, you know, my girlfriend and my parents were going to put some money towards that. I'd, I'd still pay the majority, but I was like, no, you know what? I'm going to just buy it outright right now. Got it on eBay. I haven't mentioned already for £550. I know the skit in the beginning uh, was a ridiculous price, but 550 Now, I think that's a good deal uh, based on the current situation. They are not in stores yet. Still, there is a chip shortage. They're not readily available, but in shops, they are 450 And in CEX, which for you American viewers is bit like GameStop, I guess. It's just mainly a place where you can buy, sell, trade, electronics and games, whatever. Um, they sell used PS5s, not brand new, used for £750. So I've got it for £550. I think that's a good deal and I cannot wait to get into it. So guys, I'm going to set this up, make sure it all works and then I will probably bring the video back uh, once it's set up and I am playing. But there you go. I will see you guys very shortly. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the PlayStation 5 set up on top of my belt cabinet where the PS4 was at the start of the video. This is where the PS5 is going to live. And it only just fits. Literally, just barely fits on. This thing is a beast. But I'm going to flip the camera around, quickly show you my setup, show you it working on the TV. You can probably see it a little bit there. But yeah, Overall, I'm happy. Let's flip the camera. And here it is once again, the PlayStation 5. I've got it set up on the belt cabinet. It literally is basically end to end. The stand is there. I've tried to give it as much room for ventilation as I possibly could. I think a big issue with the PS4 was uh, for years I had it here on my desk. Uh, and there is no ventilation room behind there at all. And that's where it's going to be now. But... I'm not gonna be playing it anymore. It's mainly there just for display. So I've tried to give the PS5 as much ventilation room as I possibly can. Uh, as you can see over here, I've got it set up on the TV. I'm about to play some Far Cry 3, a fantastic game. And uh, of course, the most me thing to do in the world is get a PS5 and first game you play be a PS3 game. Uh, but I'm halfway through that. Then I'm gonna move on and play Astro's Playroom because 
I hear that this is the like best way to showcase what the Dual Sense can do, as well as being a fun free game. But there you go, guys. That was my unboxing and first impressions of my Sony PlayStation 5. If you liked the video, let me know in the comment section down below. Tell me if you want to see some more general unboxings and non-wrestling related stuff. If you're a non-wrestling fan, you've watched this video, thank you for tuning in. You're probably a bit confused at all the wrestling themes around my bedroom, but hey-ho, uh, you're here for the PlayStation 5 and that is fine. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to, like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling-related content and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.